Nearly 90% of the land in Roberts County burned during the Smokehouse Creek fire, which wiped out much of the feed for livestock. ABC 7's Drew Powell reports hundreds of hay bales have been donated, but more will be needed if there's a lack of rain over the next several months. If conditions are ideal, it could be a two-year process for ranchers to fully restock. The generosity of those who are donating hay to Roberts County is helping to meet the needs for local ag producers, ranchers, and farmers. But the concern is if they don't get the moisture this spring and summer, then the donations for hay will have to continue well into the year of 2025. If we don't get the rain, if the wind blows, it could be up to seven years before ranchers can fully restock. This could really hurt people for a long time. As fast as the hay bales are piled up at the Roberts County Airport, they're trucked off by a rancher who needs them to feed livestock. There are still thousands of cattle and hundreds of horses that need hay, even as the county copes with a significant loss of livestock from the Smokehouse Creek fire. We estimate about 3,000 mother cows and total headwise with stalkers and yearlings and calves probably closer to 7,500, 8,000 head. Just in Roberts County? Yes. Judge Mitchell Locke says fine alfalfa or oat straw is a quality hay for cattle to eat due to their high protein levels and essential nutrients. He adds feeding moldy hay will create problems in livestock. The grass hay right now is popular because it can be fed to horses and cattle. Um, just any good quality hay um, that's easily transportable. Uh, we've had problems with old twine on hay and bales falling apart and it needs to be moved at least four more times after it gets to the drop point. We're trying to shift more into an appointment only or be able to schedule those hay drops so that we have someone here to unload it and unlock the gates. Appointment only will begin on Monday, April 1st. Drew Powell, ABC 7 News.